die. Just die already. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do like top 10 favorite plants. Not of the month, I don't really do that because they don't change that often. But for the past few months, I'd say they've been doing amazing and I've been looking at them and just... Wow, so... A few of them you can already see behind me, but we're gonna do I think six inside and we're gonna go outside on my balcony greenhouse and show you four more. So let's just start with the ones that are inside. So I'm gonna get straight into it. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon Sport Variegated. You can't see the variegation because the sports are so small um, that it's really hard to pick up unless you actually see it. But I'm gonna call it variegation because there hasn't been only one leaf. There has been at least a, one speckle on each leaf since I got this plant like a year ago. And this leaf did put out a lot of leaves, but we went from like small leaves like this up to the latest leaf being this gorgeous, gorgeous color and also the size is much better. So it's amazing. It's having a time of its life in LECA. Maybe I have just watered it with too concentrated nutrient solution, but if it dies, it's gonna die happy. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you can see the speck right here. As you can see this one, and there's also... Oh, okay, so on this newest leaf, there is this line right here. I know it looks a little bit sad, but it just adds a little more special thing to my collection. And although this isn't fully white variegated or something, it's kind of special to me. So this is why we're talking about it and also because it's grown really pretty. Sorry if everything is dark, not my fault. It's the, like, right now is the only time when I can film at the moment, so. Okay, the next one being right behind me. Did I mention? Yeah, okay. This is Epipremnum. Epipremnum what? So this is Epipremnum amplissimum with very nice and like long leaves, like this is a decent size. Okay, fun fact, I talk about this plant a little more often, but fun fact, I grew it from leaves smaller than this one up to just being this. This used to be like a tiny, tiny prop and there is two plants in here. It's just been tied onto this like pole and it's honestly one of like my favorite plants like in general at the moment because just how lush this is and it's such a vibe like it's just you see how beautiful this is so I did cut it recently the the top cutting is not doing the best but it's okay it's gonna survive and uh, because this, okay, they have been growing similarly, the, the two plants, but now this top one grew faster and then this one is still not at the top yet, so I'm gonna cut this later when it gets to the top, as you can see, it's only here. But yeah, this thing has just been growing in this tiny little thing and it's, it's, it's doing the best, like honestly, I love it. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're not gonna stall any longer on this. So, Anterium crystallinum. You maybe remember this from my last video where I did a free haul. And which leaf is dark? This one. Yeah. Anyways, look at this beautiful plant. So, I got this for free, which I'm so thankful for. And it's honestly like my favorite Anterium. I'm gonna show you another one later, but this, honestly, it's crazy. So, it has grown in my care this thing, which I'm hoping is going to be a new leaf, but I don't see the leaf part just yet, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna let it live. Some plant friends tell me to put this from perlite into arid mix, but I am too afraid that I'm gonna kill it by repotting it. Also, this this happened so i don't it's not irrigation before anyone gets excited this is like water storing in the leaves this has been here for like a week and nothing else really happened and the plant is fine this leaf also has it but it, it's just there and i thought after watering it's just gonna disappear and no it's just been there so i guess it's the part of my plant now now we're gonna do a small one first before I show you the actual 
one that I really really want to show you. So the next one is actually two plants and I'm going to show you what it was before and I'm going to show you what it is now because that's actually really really interesting. So let me show you in this cute Monstera elbow pot. I have this, okay, this is Alocasia Mello, a lot of you can probably recognize it because of the leaf texture, it's like, you you can probably see that it's not a like nice, um, how do you say, it's not like, you, you see it's like a rigid texture, right? Okay, so this is the mother plant and it's just in water because it had root rot, fun fun, surprise, like a lot of my plants get root rot and then they have to get transferred into different situations. It also has pests, so that's fun. So this one's not doing the best. What I have done is when I repotted it, there were these four like quite big bulbs, which I was kind of surprised they were so big but the babies have already started growing and two of them are already <laughs> fully developed leaves look at this and i'm gonna yeah okay look at this oh my god so first of all i'm surprised that the color is like this because it's like it's darker than i would expect it to be but it's also like more vibrant in real life this looks even more green like yellowy green kind of color so that's really interesting but i'm gonna just i want to show you this one up close if i can yeah you can clearly see the texture on this it's like it's so special and these babies this is the first leaf like usually alocasia will go tiny little leaves the first one. Um, I have like a fry egg there that has like this leaf as the first one from the bulb. This one is just straight up like it's kind of big like honestly and this is why they kind of come here as my favorites because this, these have already been in my this, uh, these have or only been alive for a few weeks and I am already loving them so much. I can't wait to grow this into an actually full plant. And I do have two more of these. So now I have like five of these mellows, which is really cute because I got it for like 15 bucks. It wasn't like, I got it for like a nice cheap price and now I am happy. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I'm so happy for this one. My battery's gonna die. If it dies, I'm gonna just gonna change it. Okay, this one is Anterium vitarefolium. Vitarefolium? Oh my god. So, fun fact, I also got this one for free with the crystal. But, but, this one has actually already grown a new leaf. So, before I got it, it had this, like, nice kind of long, uh, longer leaf. And then this one, and it's really hard to tell with this plant which one is the newest leaf because all the leaves also grow something else out of the, the caterpillar. So I'm gonna look, look, look. Can, can I zoom in and I'll show you? Like, they grow like little spikes out of the. You see, you see, yeah, like little spikes. And I don't know which one is the newest leaf. But another leaf has grown in my care, and when it came out, it was about this big. Now it's almost hardened off and it's large, <laughs> it's large. So this is the, the leaf that I got it with and this is my leaf that isn't even fully hardened off. So I think this plant is liking this, this living conditions that I'm giving it. Look how cute this look. Okay, battery changed. Sorry for that, okay. I don't think this is for everyone. Some people will not be the biggest fans of very long and strappy thin leaves. I do know that some people prefer even thinner, like, how do you say that? Like strappier, ultra thin leaves. To me, that's not like the favorite thing. I would like a leaf like this, but like twice the size, like this, and then like huge down, just down. And we're gonna get there, but this is very, very thin and not my favorite thing, but honestly, this plant as full is incredible and I cannot wait to see how big these leaves actually get in my care. I know they can get pretty big, but in my care, it may, they maybe don't, maybe don't. If you can see a water bottle here, 
Uh, I just repotted this Plomanii, Plomanii? Yeah. Into this huge, huge pot. And now this is holding down the stem because it's trying to go up and I want it to go down like the soil, like touching the soil. Okay, uh, these were five. Mm -hmm. Number six is this, which you probably don't recognize, but if you go into your kitchen, you probably have it. This is just normal ginger and it's huge. This is like, I'm holding it here and it's up to here. This is like more a meter and something tall. I am 160 six something like this this is like 150 mm, i don't know not not that good anyways we have started by just growing putting the ginger in some perlite and it started growing roots and it started growing shoots and we had two shoots first things first so these these two ones that are actually on this support sticks only one of them however has the support stick on top i don't i just don't have these anymore I don't have the sticks, sorry. But since then, it's also grown two more of these offshoots, one and two, and these are very cute. And it also is growing another one down here. And the fun thing is, the leaves have a smell to them, and it's like, it is, gin you can, you know how you eat ginger and you really taste it on your tongue, it's like, oh, you know? You can smell that here. It's so crazy. Damn. Like, it's really crazy. I had this main vine plant, whatever. This one had some pests, so a lot of the leaves are kind of... have been cut off. Oh, 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 yeah, sorry, don't, don't look. I'm just gonna... I have this... oh, this is dry. It's dry. I'd rather just cut off some leaves and have it a bit more healthy, but I also need to spray this off again Because there is some cosmetic damage. However, this 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 plant right here is so cute. It's it grows a little chaotically If I can show you it up closer As you can see here it just randomly splits like here and this is not supposed to be two vines It just splits, but it's also just one leaf I don't know, very chaotic plant, but very fun to just observe and grow. This does not need any special conditions or nothing, this just grew by itself. So that's honestly really fun. And this also grows really quickly. So if you want to just see something green very quickly, grow this. This is an animal. Die! Just die already. You know what? And hey, we are at it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off a few leaves because I do see more animals, which fun fun. Fun fact, we always have some kind of pests. I always have some pests here. This is very fun. So I'm just gonna cut off. It's gonna survive with all the few leaves. And I don't feel like treating this. I just don't have the energy to treat this. So putting this back in its spot. Oh, so now let's go outside. Okay, we are now outside and it's very, very hot, so I'm gonna show you what's in here. But, um, let's first just put this Gloriosum back in the greenhouse because the trips got to it. And now it's it can't be my favorite, sadly. Okay, you wanna know the info? There is 30... Five degrees Celsius in here, and it's like 10 p.m. No, it's 10 a.m. And that's too much. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So what I wanted to show you outside was first things first is this massive asparagus. <laughs> As you can see, this has grown in a very like tiny pot, but this is like really really big. So the humidity, it absolutely loves it. So. These are very, very pretty and like delicate and I have one inside, but it's not nearly the size of this one. And it just looks, oh, I was, I went, we went somewhere a few days ago and I saw like a massive one, like just like this and it was outside. So I don't know. 
crazy crazy but this is definitely top a few favorites outside because of this growth like that's kind of crazy so let's just put it here for no it's gonna burn it's gonna burn okay oh my god oh no it's mealybugs <gasps> i have mealybugs no look at this leaf no oh no oh no this is my expensive cabinet y'all better get out of here second plant on my list is this uh epipremnum pinatum let me just check if there is bugs on this one this one looks okay i think i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but there is a bunch of roots on that side and it's it's stuck and you can definitely see the roots on this stem i think or not okay basically i got this for free as like one a two leaf cutting and now it's been just outside and growing it's so cute these leaves are also very pretty color so yeah i really really like this plant and i don't really show it enough so this one is tiny i know but this is my begonia rex i don't know this is a a begonia from the back it's very like burgundy very red like but when you shine a light on these leaves it's very like blue and iridescent was i not recording <gasps> i was not recording the sound okay so this is begonia rex um and from the front there is a lot of like blue iridescent vibes and i don't think you will be able to see it yeah, of course not. I do have a reel showing you that, so I'll show you that over the screen. But it's been kind of cute, just been kind of growing, but I do have to water this because it's gonna, gonna get dry, it's gonna get dry. So these are the three, and I guess now we need to move to the other cabinet, or what is going on down here? Things are just not liking life. This is my pretty... Epipremnum pinatum, no, Epipremnum aureum, Marble Queen. It's just a Marble Queen pothos, but as you can see, mine is like really, really light. I think it's the Snow Queen or something like that. It's very gorgeous, and this moss pole is not doing it justice, I'm aware. But I don't want to repot it, but just take a look at this, like these leaves look how cute they are oh my god um and i've had this for like this also grows very slowly i've had this for like two years now it died in between admittably admittably i didn't record an outro sorry for bad quality editing i'm working on something bigger atm thanks for watching